Today we're going to be working with net job benefits. Last time you saw me, we were for net pay. Today, net job benefits. Not a whole lot of difference between the two, but the only difference is we're working with benefits now and not deductions. All right? So, first thing we need to know whenever we talk about something in consumer math, we've got to find out the formula. What is the formula we're going to use to find net job benefits? Now, the formula is over here. And the formula says we got to take our gross pay plus our benefits to get our total job benefits. Total job benefits is very important. Okay, sometimes the problems might give you the total job benefits, sometimes they might not. And if they don't, remember, all I got to do to find the total job benefits is to take my gross pay plus my benefits, and that gives me my total job benefits. Now, you might be saying, Mr. Turner, what is, or what kind of benefits are out there for me? Well, it's easy. The benefits out there for you are things like health insurance, retirement pensions, paid vacation, holiday vacation. You may get sick leave in case you're sick. You might get some kind of child support, such as paying for your babysitter, paying for different things like that. All right. So those are all different kinds of benefits you may see one day when you're in the workforce. And it's very important to pay attention to those because the gross pay is important, but the benefits are important well as well. And you need to know what type of benefits am I getting for my job. You got to know that. So, remember, if it doesn't give you your total job benefits, your TJB, you got to take your gross pay, add that together with your benefits, and that gives you your total job benefits. All right? Now, once you get your total job benefits, the second part of the formula is take your total job benefits and subtract that from your job expenses. And that's just going to give you your net job benefits. Two steps. That's all you got to do to find net job benefits. Simple, right? So, you might be saying, Mr. Turner, what type of job expenses might I see? Well, you could have to have commuting expense, such as gas, upkeep on your car. You got to keep those tires rotated if you're going to travel a lot. You might also have things as tools. If you're a carpenter, electrician, construction worker, you might have to buy your own tools. Parking. Okay, you work in a big urban area. You might have to pay that parking garage to park every day. Uniform, child care, such as a babysitter, those kind of things. Those are all job expenses you might see one day when you have a job. Okay, so let's review our formula one more time so we make sure we understand our formulas. If they give you your gross pay and your benefits, you got to find that total job benefits. And that's all it is, is adding your job benefits with your gross pay. Add those two together and get your total job benefits. Some problems might give you the total job benefit, some may not. So find that total job benefits if they don't. If they do or if they don't give it, once you have your job benefits, your total job benefits, you subtract your job expenses from those. Okay, the commuting, the parking, so on and so forth. And that gives you your net job benefits. So, let's look here. We have a problem set up. It says Rita's job provide, or Rita has a gross pay of $24,000. Okay, that's her gross pay. She makes that a year. What are her total job benefits? Does it give us our total job benefits? No, it doesn't. It wants to know the total job benefits first. So to find the total job benefits, we take our gross pay, which is $24,000. We're going to take the $24,000 and we're going to add all of the benefits to it. Okay, so she gets health insurance, and that is two thousand dollars. So we're gonna add two thousand to it. She gets paid vacation, which is eight hundred dollars. So we're gonna add eight hundred to it. She gets a retirement fund worth twelve hundred dollars. So you can see here, retirement fund. So we're gonna add twelve hundred dollars to that. Okay, so you get a total amount of benefits worth. $4,000. So $24,000 plus $4,000 is simple. That gives us $28,000. Okay, so $28,000 is what her total job benefits are. Now, the second part of the question says, what is Rita's net job benefits? How much is the job worth after the expenses? How much does it pay to work that job? So we have a total job benefit of $28,000. So, in order to find the net job benefits, you said it. You take your total job benefits minus your job expenses. Easy, right? So, she has job expenses that cost her $200 for parking. 
That's two hundred dollars a park. Costs twelve hundred dollars to commute and a thousand dollars for childcare. So let's add up these job expenses, and that gives us twenty four hundred dollars in job expenses. Now we said it. To find net job benefits, you take your total job benefits minus your net pay, or minus your net pay. I'm going back a little bit on you guys. You take your total job benefits minus your job expenses, and that gives you your net job benefits. So, twenty-eight thousand was your total job benefits. Subtract that from your job expenses, which is twenty-four hundred, and your net job benefits. Come up to $25,600. That is her net job benefits. $25,600. I'll move it down here so you can see it. Okay? So let's go over this one more time. So we make sure we understand how to find net job benefits because when you have a test, you want to do well on that test. Okay? So, problem did not give us our total job benefits. We have to find our total job benefits, and you do that by taking your gross pay and adding all your benefits up and adding it to that gross pay. Okay, so here's all our benefits. We have $4,000 in benefits, so we're going to take gross pay plus benefits gives us total job benefits, $28,000. Not too bad, right? I take $28,000. So, you have total job benefits of $28,000. Now... You have to subtract your job expenses from your total job benefits to get, you said it, your net job benefits. So our job expenses are here. You take your $200 for parking, $1,200 for commuting, $1,000 for child care. You get total job expenses, $2,400. Okay, and you can see here, I have $28,000 minus $2,400 and that gives us a net job benefit, a net JV of $25,600. So not only are you guys really good at solving net pay, but now you're really good at solving your net job benefit. So one day when you guys get offered multiple jobs, which I know you all will because you're all great young people, you need to understand to take your net job benefits or find your net job benefits and figure out what your net pay is going to be one day because those are all important things. Those are real life things that you will have to count. So until next time, keep working on your consumer math and good luck.